who or wh who do you like and what do you think of the music that's being pushed out today? In today's climate, I love um, just what's happening, especially where like the substance is coming back in the lyrics. And like, it's now really about like, you know, telling your story again. And that went away for a little bit. So, you know, J. Cole is doing that. Um, I love that Drake, you know, just blends melody so perfectly and at the same point in time it's truthful and it's and it's like from a man's perspective but you you know you see the emotion in it yeah. and um, you know then there's like just new guys on the come up that I think are really dope I think like uh, this kid Chance the Rapper is pretty cool and um, I think the kid Logic is cool and um, you know I, I just love that that spirit of like you know like athleticism in your lyrics is coming back like it's almost like you know it's a sport you know do you um, think any women are doing that in hip hop, I don't, you know, I don't think that I see enough of that at all. And you know, I think Nicki did a great job when she came out of like being able to hold her own with like male rappers and whatnot. But for me, that's why you know I'm really excited to to come and break through at this point in time in music because there's not enough of a female presence, you know, who can actually hold her own lyrically and actually give you the substance in the music and 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 actually speak about something, you know. So and and still bring the sexiness and still bring fashion and still bring like culture because. You know, all that's important. Female rapper that you look up to. Oh yeah, hell yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, Lauren Hill, Missy Elliott, um, Foxy, uh, you know, Queen Latifah. You released an EP. Um, it's actually it, it's huge because it's on the cover of magazines. You're on the cover of magazines. Um, tell us a bit more about that. So I released my EP, it's called Point of No Return, and um, it dropped in April. And I was just, you know, I was blessed because it, it ended up being really embraced by the tastemaker blogs like Vibe.com and Complex Mag and uh, All Hip Hop and, um, you know, just like really like the college DJ network, meaning like all the schools, the big colleges out yeah. here, they ended up adding it to their playlist. So it, it was really blasting off on the campuses at the schools around here. So, um, you know, it got a great response. And, and the cool thing about it, too, is just like, you know, it was inspired by Point of No Return, which was actually a show. Um, and the whole like element of it was like this girl who comes from nothing and she ends up becoming this like secret assassin to get to the top. So it was like that femme fatale element. Um, I mean, that's what the show was about. But what I took from that was basically the girl who comes from nothing and makes everything and is that like killer mind state, like femme fatale. Like I'm, I'm taking uh, like taking names and no prisoners kind of thing, you know? So, um, you know, and, and I had some great producers on there, great collaborations, and the music itself too. Like, you know, the the the, the records are everything from like the hard knock and 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 lyrical hip hop, but there's also like very anthemic, like melodic big songs too that you know shows that versatility. It. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so kind of stuff that you can like dance around in a club, maybe at home. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we have to have fun. Like that's what we're here to do. We're here to the, to make lifestyle, to make like you know feel good records, and then to give you something to go home and think on too. So. Are you going to tour the U.S., the U.K. with this album? For sure. I mean, like I said, we were doing like a big college radio tour, just going down to all the stations, doing a little in-house performance, and then shows all over the city. Um, and then up and coming, I have a big festival that I'll be being a part of, A3C Hip Hop Festival in Atlanta. It's definitely an honor. It's one of the biggest. I mean, everybody from Drake, Kendrick Lamar, they've all touched that stage. So I'm excited. I was chosen by Reverb Nation, and I'm ready to hit that stage. Well, Lance, I have a big surprise for you. Ferrari. Oh, I knew it. Thank you. I'm so I excited. wish. But if you want to get me one when uh, you make your millions, I'll be happy to take it. Yeah, Once I, I get a driving license as well. Take it around, Oh, no, I want the car. Oh, want the I want the car. Okay, so I can kind of rap. I think I'm pretty good. Okay. And there's, there's like some lyrics that I hold very deep and close to my heart. Okay. So I want you to tell me what you think of my uh, my lyrics and there's someone else's lyrics but I think they're fantastic. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Look, do you see this moment though right here? It's a moment. It's a moment. Just, okay. Just pose that one. Press the lens and everything like Okay, are you ready Lars? Yes, yes, ahead. Get ready to be blown away. <clears throat> Let me get in the moment. <clears throat> yo, yo, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, with a <coughs> hit and a <coughs> hit, E-I-E-I-O. Boom. <laughs> what do you think, Mark? 
I think that I think McDonald needs his job back. <laughs> I kind of agree, but that was fun, wasn't it? That was cute. That was cute. That was cute. I like the E I E I O. I mean, if you know what, if you if you did like put an effect on it, maybe a little auto tune chopped and screwed it, maybe the E I E I O could be. No, no, no. But it was a nice try. Nice try. Lance Pierce, guys, watch out. Lance Pierce. <laughs> you know what I just did? I just did this. That's what you just had me doing. She did a nursery rhyme, and, it, and that corniness rubbed off on me so much that I just gave the thumbs up. E I E I O. Partout où tu vas, j'irai. Partout où tu vas, je sais. Point de non retour. I got this theory, right? And maybe it's naive, but we could be what we want to be if we believe. And not what we have or where we come from can intervene. I give you the enemy, bury my enemies, take their heads as trophies and make it my centerpiece.